Exposed CEO Ted Sarandos leaks Megan's fury-fueled email demanding Joe Rogan's special be pulled. In his recent Netflix comedy special, Joe Rogan, Burn the Boats, the renowned stand-up comedian turned his sights on Prince Harry, making him the latest target of his trademark biting humor. The special, which premiered live on August 4th from the Majestic Theater in San Antonio, Texas, has left audiences in stitches while delivering a hefty dose of mockery towards the royal. Rogan, known for his no-holds-barred approach to comedy, used the special as an opportunity to settle old scores and poke fun at the absurdities of celebrity culture. It wasn't long before Prince Harry found himself at the center of Rogan's satirical crosshairs. In his characteristic irreverent style, Rogan accused the prince of having previously talked about him on his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. Rogan proceeded to mimic Harry's accent with exaggerated flair, adding to the comedic effect. The one-hour and 17-minute show, Rogan's first live stand-up routine in six years, saw him weaving a narrative that included jabs at COVID, 19 vaccinations, the transgender community, and, of course, Prince Harry. With a mix of sarcasm and sharp wit, Rogan shared an amusing anecdote about discovering Harry's comments on his podcast. Here's a true story, Rogan began, setting the stage for his royal roast. One morning, I wake up, still in my underwear, and I turn on the TV, and there's Prince Harry talking about me. And I'm like, I just woke up, I'm vulnerable, I'm in my underwear, and here's a prince on TV talking about me. Rogan's portrayal of Harry's reaction was a masterclass in mocking, as he mimicked the prince's voice, saying, Joe Rogan's giving out dangerous vaccine information. Rogan's jest played on the real-life controversy involving Harry and Meghan Markle expressing concerns to Spotify over alleged misinformation on Rogan's podcast. As the special progressed, Rogan didn't hold back on imagining absurd scenarios involving the prince. He mused about the potential hilarity of tripping on mushrooms with Harry, painting a picture of the prince in a psychedelic state, bewildered and out of his element. Could you imagine doing mushrooms with Prince Harry? Rogan joked. Picture him chewing and swallowing them, and then you see him start tripping balls. There's a moment, about 20 minutes after you swallow mushrooms, when you know that you can't throw them up anymore, and he's sitting there, eye to eye with the prince. Meanwhile, you hear footsteps in the distance, and there's Harry, high as a kite. Rogan's comedic jabs didn't end there. According to a blind item on Dumois, Meghan Markle reportedly tried to exert pressure on Netflix to pull Rogan's special due to its critical humor about Harry. However, as Rogan gleefully pointed out, Netflix might be more than happy if Meghan decided to withdraw her projects. Meghan's been calling and emailing and texting non-stop the head of Netflix. She's threatening to pull them because of what Joe Rogan said about the ginger head one. The blind item read, The streamer would love for her to pull a project, she won't though because no one would take them. Megan's trying to control what she can't control. She really has no clue about her own insignificance. Joe Rogan's smarter, richer, and more popular in the USA than she'll ever be. Her thin skin gives me secondhand embarrassment. She hasn't even managed to get a cooking show head. It's just sitting in Netflix's warehouse untitled and with no air date. They'd love for her to pull that project. It would free up space. Rogan's commentary highlights Meghan's struggle with media and public perception, painting her attempts to control the narrative as futile. Netflix hasn't even acknowledged the cooking or polo shows, and her manifestations never come to fruition. Through his biting wit and unapologetic humor, Joe Rogan has once again proven himself a master of the comedic craft, using Prince Harry and the Markle family as the latest targets of his relentless satire.